I got a very special card in the mail the other day. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. So a couple of weeks ago, or about a week ago, winning image photography and I were on Mr. and Mrs. Talking Bullion's stream. And there had been a question about 1909, why was the Lincoln scent made? And Michael, I, and I had practically been in a tie. Well, he said I answered the question a little bit more, what? I explained it a little bit better. I said it was his 100th birthday. He had put 100th or his anniversary or something like that. Both questions are right. So there was this little battle back and forth in the stream as to who was going to give it to who. And at the end, he pulled a little fast one on me and decided to donate it to Winning Image Photography. Well, I had used up all my bullets, so he got me on that one. So I had to accept the Standing Liberty Quarter. That is... No, I had to accept the Standing <laughs> Liberty Quarter. It's my quarter. So he's changed his name now, too. His new YouTube channel name is Patriotic Goomba, also known as Michael, Michael. I. So when I got this from Mr. and Mrs. TV, obviously it was a little bit heavier than just a Standing Liberty Quarter. To our friends on the left, just because. Hey there, Winning Image Photography. Congratulations on the Standing Liberty Quarter from our live stream. You know Michael I donated it. Pretty awesome. You guys take care and please keep in touch. So yeah, I mean, we've really struck it up quite well with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Talking Bullion. And uh, oh my gosh, look at that. That thing is a blazer. I mean... I'm going to rip it off here in a bit, and we think it's so nice that we're going to replace it in our Dance Go album. Usually when I get friend mail or gifts or stuff, I keep it attached to the card and I'll put it away. That way it's just like that. Well, this is going to be my first exception. I'm actually going to put that in the Dance Go book so I know who it came from. As many of you might be aware, I have been sick for the past two or three weeks. I've had pneumonia. Uh, when I first went into the hospital, I had the use of one of my lungs, and uh, boy, did it feel that way. So it's been a little bit of a recovery, longer than what I originally thought. And unfortunately, the news that I'm going to have for you right now is that Peace Dollar series, set, series that I had wanted to do in September is now going to be delayed for a little bit. i got to get my life back on track. I've still got to get the rest of the way healthy. I'm still going to be making YouTube videos. And it'll still be coming out every Sunday and Wednesday when I drop one. I keep a whole bunch in reserve. That's how. That's what kept me going while I've been sick. And, you know, we're starting to shoot a little bit, some more videos again here recently. You know, as I've been getting a little bit better, but I'm still not 100%. And we've got a lot of catch up in life to do now, too. I just now start going back to work tomorrow or tonight by the time this video airs. So it'll be my first night back to work in a while. So i got to get life going again, and the series is just going to take too much time and effort for me to get going in September. I really want to do that series, and I have every intention of still doing that series. It's just going to be delayed now by about a couple months. I'm thinking now I'm going to have to start that probably in January 2020. With Christmas and Thanksgiving and everything coming up, it just... Now, we've spent a lot of money getting ready to do that series we've gone into digital juice we paid a 250 dollars subscription for that we've upgraded our computers we're ready to start streaming with webcams and all so we've put put a little bit of money into it to re get ready to do this series so i'm definitely still doing it it's just going to be a couple months while i heal up the rest of the way get through the holidays and actually january in the middle of winter is a much easier time for me to do things anyway with the way my work is so Anyway, enough of that. I'll be upgrade. I'll be uh, redoing the front of my YouTube channel to explain that the YouTube series will still be getting done, but it's not going to start in September 2020. Num pneumonia knocked me on my butt, knocked me hard on my butt. I didn't take it seriously enough. I thought I was only going to be out of work two or three days. It ended up being almost two to three weeks I was out of work, and as I've already stated, I'm not 100 percent yet. But I'm getting better. So that's the update on my health. And we don't know. We haven't flipped that over yet. As to whether that's a Philadelphia, Denver, or San Francisco. 
just so happens while I was doing that dance go album in the background, I had been stacking up enough piece dollars so that I can start throwing them in that album. So we've kept all the old holders. So whichever one comes out of there, I already got a holder for it. And uh, those are those 1923s. I just get them all out all the time. I only have three graded piece dollars, a 22, which that so happens to be there, but I don't know whether it's a Philly. There's a 23 Philly and a 24 Philly. I've always liked that one. That one's just bling. So yeah, don't worry everyone. I'm going to do that piece dollar series. I'm not going to let that one go without doing it. And of course, as many of you might be aware, I do have the entire piece dollar set in a dance go album. And I'm pretty proud of this one. I like it a lot. So let's see which piece dollar is going to be coming out of here. Because that's how I'm going to remember this, TB, that it came from you. I'm going to know that it sits in my dance go album. It is a Philly. It's a beautiful Philly. The back is, is in every good shape as the front. So, yeah, I don't mind at all replacing I got a nice 22 that's in that dance go album. But I think one way of ensuring that it, I know who it came from is by putting it in that dance go album. Got it off there. Now he'll become part of our series. Well, they will. Mr. and Mrs. TV will. And check that out. Get a good look at it here. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. I mean, you couldn't have timed it any better. At the time of the shooting of this, I believe I'm going to release this the very next day. But it's September 16th right now. Happy birthday. And it's my birthday. So this just seems even more appropriate that I slam this thing to the album. So let's get that other 22 out of there. I'm going to start taking this out. It's always easier to do that that way. It's got plastic on the back too, so if I... Well, I was pulling the plastic, so... I thought it pulled the plastic. Why don't we cut it here, and we'll be right back. Alright, so aside from the back, it would be easier to do. So there's my... Oh, that we'll put in there. And the one from Talking Boyan. It's going to take its place. Maybe. These things can be a little stubborn. There it is. Pop that one out a little too. And that's gonna go back. Go back. Getting it. It's that last one there. Yep. Oh, there now went a little far. Let's pop it from the front. There it is. A little work to get those in. So there you sit now. 
right there in the middle. And again, to everyone, I apologize for the delay on this series, but I've got to get my health back in order yet. And I'm not leaving the community. I'm slowly starting to watch more videos again. It's just been a toll on me. Anyway, thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. TB. You now are in the center of the 1922 Philadelphia Peace Dollar in my Dance Go album. I so appreciate it. Thank you very much, Michael I. I appreciate it, everyone. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. We'll catch you on the next video.